Hey all here OS Reviews, some of you may remember that about a year ago we checked out a pair of TWS wireless buds that's called the PAMU Scrolls. They had a pretty interesting design because the casing was constructed out of this fabric material that is magnetic, opens up, and just looks a bit more fancy and elegant than many of the other generic designs which are very close to what Apple's AirPods look like. Well now, the same company has released another pair that's called the PAMU Unique. I like to think of these as the second generation PAMU scrolls because it has that same fabric design, but what's new here is it's now using buds which have a shape that's a lot closer to the PAMU slide and slide minis. In fact, all of these buds are interchangeable between their current generation models. In fact, if you happen to lose one, you can actually purchase replacement, uh, you know, left or right sides, and they are the same replacements for any of their current generation products, which is very clever. What is also new here is that the PAMU Unique has interchangeable covers. So instead of having one which is locked and stuck into place, this one comes with several magnetic modular designs that you can use to change the color and texture of the fabric on the outside, which is a pretty interesting concept. As far as the tech specs are concerned, they have the same as the slide and slide minis. They come with Qualcomm's APTX, there is IPX6 sweat and rainproof rating. They also can last up to 10 hours for the buds themselves, and with the battery case you get a combined total of around 30 hours or so. It does have quick charging as well, so you can charge it for uh, about 10 minutes and get you an hour of usage. So inside here we have a black box that simply says PAMU Unique, it's magnetic and has these gold coverings on it. A very fancy presentation tells you how to charge it and get started with it. Now they actually come in a separate container for the um, other accessories. So in this external mini box is where we have the felt covers. We have three textures included by default, a red, a blue, and a black version. So here is the black version that has this uh, very interesting dazzling hexagon patterns that shimmers against the light. And if we turn it over, you can see the kind of soft microfiber material as well as the magnetic band that kind of snaps into the casing. Here is the second texture, which is a bit more matte, not quite as shiny as uh, this material here, but still looks uh, pretty distinctive. Finally, here's the red version, which might be my favorite when it comes to just being very distinctive looking. This little separate box, which contains an adapter that supports wireless charging. So the case on itself doesn't have Qi charging, but it includes this little receiver, which is, again, a very modular concept. Effectively, it snaps onto the USB Type-C port, and then this becomes a Qi receiver. The other accessories are more conventional. We have various pairs of silicon tips to get a more custom fit, and there is also documentation that goes through the various sizes. There is a Type-C cable if you want to use wired charging, and there's also a quick start guide that's documented in various languages, telling you how to set it up and use it. And finally, there is a soft carrying pouch Alright, so taking a closer look at the case here, it's made out of plastic, and this is what it's like without anything attached. And then on the base here, we just have this uh, Type-C port for charging, that also has this kind of vinyl-like texture to it. And on the other end, there are a series of LED lights which will glow to tell you the battery percentage. It's uh, very cleverly hidden inside of this ring. And then the buds themselves, as we can see here, are sharing the exact same design as the aforementioned PAMU Slide and the Slide Minis, which are, again, all of their current generation products. So these are interchangeable. The casing here is magnetic, so you can attach them in with a satisfying click, and they will shortly begin charging. And more importantly, here is the aforementioned LED lights. So out of four, it tells you 100%. Attaching the cover is also fairly simple. It just attaches with a satisfying click using magnets and then closes up as well, like so. The whole thing feels relatively secure. Of course, as long as you're not tugging at it, it should stay in place without too many issues. And more importantly, with this uh, casing, it adds a bit of a lip. So before, it was a perfect cylinder that would easily roll around on the surface. But with this lip, it's actually going to stay in place without moving if you set it onto a desk. And here is kind of what it looks like on the inside with the kind of stitching, it definitely looks more expensive, I'd say, than the price would suggest. Um, if we do a quick size comparison with the aforementioned kind of first generation PAMU scroll, you can see that the scroll by comparison is a little bit larger, but not by too much. It's actually very close. Uh, the both are using these fabric materials and have these similar accents, um, but what's new here is they've used a reversible Type-C port for supporting quick charging compared to micro USB on the 
older version. Shape of the buds compare as so. We have a more conventional dot design on the previous versus these which have a bit of a stem with the microphone pointing closer to your mouth. Um, otherwise, they support various controls, including volume adjustment, just like the PAMU Slide Minis, which is great to see. There are many pairs of wireless TWS buds which are lacking that function, and it's not the most convenient thing. You can long hold on the left and right sides to raise the volume higher or lower, which is great. Let's snap into place this uh, red addition, and um, afterwards you can see this is what it looks like. Also works pretty well, has that PAMU logo. Again, I think this is my favorite when it comes to the trio of options. And finally, here is our last version, which is that uh, kind of galaxy-colored version that reminds me a bit of kind of the stars and the universe. It has a more matte texture as well, also looks pretty clean. And now for the modular Qi charging mat, you're able to kind of just uh, attach it onto the end, and it uh, still kind of sits pretty nicely onto the overall shape. It doesn't really get in the way of you accessing the buds, as you can see there, so you can just keep it on there and it will just stay. Just pop this onto the top, and you can see that the charging just begins automatically. Pulling it away, the charging will stop. So it's a uh, working quite well, and there's LED lights on the top, as you can see there, that also indicates that the charging case is being topped up. All right, so let's talk about the audio quality and performance next. Uh, really, there's not too many surprises in this regard, because like I mentioned before, it's using the exact same drivers as they've used for their past few pairs already, the PAMU Slide and the Slide Minis. I was impressed with the performance back then, and after these past few months, the same thing can be said. Um, they're not necessarily going to be audiophile grade, but for most consumers and just casual use, they sound excellent. There's a good amount of clarity here, so even if you pause the music, you won't really hear any hints of distortion or static in the background. So you just get the music itself. Uh, the latency is also fairly low thanks to both APTX as well as supporting SBC and AAC standards. So you can watch a YouTube video, for example, and the audio and video are synced together fairly nicely. Perhaps if you're playing back gaming, it may not be perfect. As far as the sound profile is concerned, Concerned. Uh, like I talked about before, there is a good amount of bass. They may not be the most absolute bass-heavy buds I've ever tried. In fact, I would argue that the original PAMU scrolls, uh, with their more kind of in-ear shape, do have a bit more of a secure fit and as a result, I did think that these were slightly more bass heavy. It doesn't really distract from other elements of the sound like mids and trebles as a result, making them enjoyable for pop music, great for electronic music, for watching videos and movies with, and uh, again, serves those purposes without any real issues. Now, as kind of a retrospective size comparison, here we have the case next to the Apple AirPods. So you can see there that it's going to be a little larger, maybe about twice the size, uh, but still is small enough to uh, easily fit into, say, a backpack or into a larger pocket. Uh, you can see the shape here of the size of the buds are not too far off, both weigh about the same as well, although the PAMUs do have slightly more ergonomic uh, functions, like the soft touch rubber material, for example, and the slightly curved stem, which make them easier to pull in and remove from your ears. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the new PAMU Uniques, uh, basically the second generation model of the PAMU Scrolls by having this interesting cylinder shape for the battery case, this time offering some modular components like those swappable covers in addition to its support for the modular Qi charging mat, uh, which is great to see. The audio quality remains as good as ever, perhaps not top of the line, but definitely good enough and consistent enough to get most folks by, offering a pleasant mix of mids as well as bass and troubles and doing a great job for casual music listening, uh, fitting in really nicely and securely, and offering pretty good battery life per charge. Again, 10 hours for the buds when removed is actually one of the longer numbers that we've seen. That's been a closer look at the Padmate PAMU Unique TWS wireless earphones with modular covers.